Good morning, dear listeners. Today we start a new episode of our series of No Age Ontology uh, podcast, and uh, it's a um, podcast series based on my book No Age Ontology, which is a spiritual and wisdom compendium of teachings uh, that point out the timelessness of all phenomena. And uh, there is also some uh, life coaching in uh, in this book. And today we speak about the subject of a spiritual hedonism. So basically, spiritual teachings and philosophies have always attracted human beings disappointed and dissatisfied with the suffering of existence. And in many cases, this has resulted in great spiritual awakenings. Uh, But at the same time, there's always been a danger of pursuing spiritual paths with hedonistic purposes, uh, as what the great teacher uh, Trungpa Rinpoche referred to as a spiritual materialism. Uh, So I call it spiritual hedonism um, because um, it's uh, somewhat similar. Uh, Having been let down by the ordinary way of living uh, one's lives, um, in this case one chooses a spiritual path solely with the scope of finding happiness or sometimes even power for oneself uh, and using all sorts of spiritual methods uh, without any knowledge, uh, not even on an intellectual level, uh, what uh, basically liberation, enlightenment, awakenings actually means. So there can never be any liberation or enlightenment uh, realized by a self-grasping entity but only a sad realization of egohood. So uh, even though on a relative level, there is absolutely no problem in uh, trying to achieve uh, sort of uh, relative aims and objectives and have a better life, uh, one should have um, very clear that this is not enlightenment and this is not uh, awakening and this is not even uh, spiritual or wisdom related. and um, one should have clear what uh, the spiritual realization really means and uh, without falling trapped to the spiritual hedonism. So on the one side, one can use any methods and it's, it's fine. But on another side, one should also work for um, understanding what liberation from a self-grasping entity really means and at the same time work on one uh, one's uh, realization from both sides uh, as the uh, hermetic teachings say as above so below as below so above so uh, in this way one can work on both uh, from upwards downwards and from downwards upwards so this is just a brief introduction but more information can be found in a book and uh, in the comments there is the link to the book and thank you for listening Thank you.